Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at sense and response. So that is uh, how our body senses uh, things occurring around it uh, and how our body responds to that. Uh, so we're going to talk about the stimulus response pathway and this should be familiar uh, from the maintaining a balance uh, topic that was well, well a while ago now. Um, but we went through it in much more detail then and you can go back and review those uh, videos. Uh, and the parts of the stimulus response pathway are the stimulus itself, the receptor, the messenger, the effector, and the response that it elicits. So we refer to the way that our body detects and responds to stimulus as the stimulus response pathway. Uh, now this is the same pathway as involved in homeostasis, uh, or the same components as homeostasis. Uh, being that the we have the stimulus that is detected by the receptor. The message then goes to some form of control center. Control center then sends a message to the effector. The effector then elicits the response. Okay, so looking at a little bit more detail into each of those. So the stimulus is the thing or the deviation from the normal state that the body's actually picking up. Okay, so it could be anything that's happening around you. It could be a change in light levels uh, as it gets lighter or darker. It could be um, that a smell comes uh, into the area that wasn't there before. Uh, so this is changing uh, in whatever was normal previously. Uh, the receptor is a special kind of cell. Uh, it's a neuron. So a nerve cell uh, that's designed to detect a specific stimulus. And there is quite a bit of specificity in here. Um, so on a basic level, um, your tongue can't detect light. Light's detected by special receptors found in your eye. Uh, but within your eye, and we're going to look at this in more detail in the future, but within your eye, you actually have four different types of uh, receptors in there looking at or detecting different types of light. Um, so we've got a whole heap of different receptors around the body. Um, we've got our mechanoreceptors, so they um, detect mechanical changes, uh, the or like movement, so they are involved in touch. We've got thermoreceptors, which detect temperature, also involved in the sense of touch. Photoreceptors, uh, detecting light, so involved in the eye and seeing. Acoustic receptors, uh, involved in hearing and sound. Technically, the acoustic receptors are mechanoreceptors as well, uh, but we won't get into that. Um, and then we've got the smell and taste. Now, these, uh, both these types of receptors, the olfactory and suspective receptors, come under the umbrella of chemical receptors because what they are doing is actually responding to a particular chemical uh, that they're coming in contact with. It's important to note here that these messages don't just travel by themselves from place to place. So it's not just getting from the receptor to the control center. There needs to be a conduit to send these messages along. Um, and this uh, conduit is the... PNS, the peripheral nervous system. Uh, so it's made up of nerves uh, that connect that receptor up to the control center, the control center being in the central nervous system. Uh, so that's the brain and spinal cord. Uh, the peripheral nervous system being every other nerve in the body. So the effector is the part of the body that elicits that change to the stimulus. Uh, and in the example I gave earlier, I said a change in light levels. So in this case, the effector, the thing that's going to change, uh, is the iris. Um, and whether the iris contracts or relaxes, um, changing the size of the pupils. And the response there would be that, that change in the size of the pupils. So for example, when the uh, light level increases, so the stimulus is the light level increasing, uh, the photoreceptors uh, pick up that in the retina. They send that um, message through the optic nerve. Brain decides that too much light's coming in, sends a message to the iris to constrict or contract, um, making the iris larger and the pupil smaller, therefore allowing in less light. 
In this video, we've looked at the stimulus response pathway, the stimulus being the deviation from the normal, uh, the receptor being a special kind of new neuron cell uh, that detects that stimulus, uh, the messengers being the nerves that carry this message around the body, the effector, the thing that elicits the response, and the response itself, what that effector does uh, to change according to that stimulus. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.